What is going on everybody, my name is The Sheik and welcome to a Project High Rise. This is just a little game where you have to build a tower and make it awesome. We're gonna call our tower the Shigma Plaza. That's what we're calling our tower. We'll go for a standard one just to keep it nice and basic. Alrighty then. So this is a game obviously you build up a tower and then you build stuff to go in there like offices, restaurants, shops, and houses. It's pretty straightforward in what you have to do. I've played this a few times, but not too much. But like the times that I did play, I did play them for like hours on end. So maybe I played a lot more than I think. But all the towers that I've ever built, I've always gone for like building everything in them. And I figured like the best thing to have in a place to get like the most money to make so you can keep building up is offices. Offices seem to be the easiest thing to put in and they don't take too much looking after. Like with apartments because you need loads of different stuff. I guess you need different stuff with offices as well. But anyway, we won't get too much into that. We'll wait until we come to it. Right now we're just going to get started by building up some offices above here. I'm also going to get some restaurants in. Uh, we only have the small stuff because obviously we don't have enough of the stars. Which uh, we have four down here like that. And these stars basically means like the higher, more stars you have, the better stuff you may get in. Like these big gourmet or restaurants, I need 13 stars to be able to have any of them. So not quite popular enough. But we have to insert everything, like all this electricity wire, everything needs electricity. <laughs> so we have to just put all that in now. There's like some things will need water, but we're not going to bother putting any water in just yet. We'll wait until we got places for that. And then with the restaurant, see, he serves lunch, he serves lunch, and he serves lunch. They all serve lunch. We'll take this one for 100, and then I'm actually just going to decline all these and put out another ad because I want one for breakfast. Because if I have two for lunch and then like one's gonna make a profit, the other one isn't, and that's gonna suck. So we won't worry about that right now. Let's quickly get all this stuff built up and we'll get our offices in. Alright, oh one restaurant, please do dinner or breakfast. You do not. This sucks. Why can I not just get one that serves breakfast? That's all I really want. What else? We'll speed this up and then we're gonna get our offices. Oh yeah, there's one thing else I forgot about these. Is you wanna be pulling these out so you can make loads of money. We're gonna get the basic offers, which is just like four of all the starter up as you like offices. It don't really change too much, it's just the names, but it's a similar sort of thing on each of them. So we'll just get all these involved, hopefully. Oh, I can move someone in here. We're gonna have this level. I like to keep all the same things on one level, just because, like, OCD maybe, I don't really know. Does that need a phone line? He does need a phone line and he wants courier and copy in a service. That's fine. He doesn't need them straight away, so he'll be happy without it all. So I'm going to build that level there to be able to put my courier and my copier service in. And I'm also going to get... What was I going to get? Oh, we need a phone line. So we need to go into here to be able to get one of those out. Uh, we'll just get the cheapest one for now, just so we're not spending too much money, since we don't have much income at the moment. But as our income greatly increases, we'll get the more expensive units, so then we don't have to keep building as many. Take up less space in the long run. And it's cheaper. <laughs> if I could just buy like the expensive things from the get-go, I would. Because it does work out a lot cheaper than having all these little ones in. Can we get another restaurant? Can we have one for breakfast and lunch? Breakfast and lunch. They also have breakfast and lunch. Magnificent. Now, which one do I want? We're going to get a burrito place in. Awesome. We're going to have the burritos. What are you serving? Your sandwiches? Yo, your burger grill? Even better. How do I get? There we go. Oh, that's the end of the day for the restaurant. So they all have hours in which they do work. So the restaurants, like if that's just open for breakfast, then they might not make as much money because all the office workers will be coming in like just before lunch and stuff. But I've never really thought about that too much. I have had like a few times when I got really far into it where I had some people move out because they weren't getting enough customers or something like that. But that doesn't happen too often. These guys aren't going to make much of a profit for quite some time, so they're going to have a lot of beef. Right, get this guy in, and then I'm also just going to start building out this way once I finish up their one. Alright, so we can have 60 floors like to start with, but you can unlock something else, I think, that you can double that pretty much. But on the standard one, the thing I don't like is there's not really like much width to it. Whereas, like, I have been playing the past couple of times I've been on here on an extra large map. I don't know why I'm not speeding this up. And you can fit a lot more on those, I'm telling you. But when you're trying to build everything, then that's kind of necessary. 
Oh, we didn't make much. We didn't make any money. We're actually minus. So we need more officers. So we need more officers quick. I don't have a courier unit or a thing of a Bobby unit. All right, slow your asses down just a second. Let me get this last legal office in. He's gonna give me a bunch of money. Yeah. Oh, these guys should hopefully build it down so I can get the courier and the uh, delivery service in. Let's put this. We'll put it over here. Why not? It's not gonna make any difference. And then I'm gonna drag all my electricity wires to give these guys a bit of power down at the bottom here. Um, on this floor here, I'm actually gonna put my stores, which I can't build just yet, so we do have to wait for those. But it's just so I can have all my offices up here. It's just like the way that they walk through stuff. I like to have everything looking neat and tidy. Like this should be exactly the right sort of length to fit uh, four offices in and there'll be no excess. So <laughs> I like to nitpick on everything and make sure it's all perfect. It's like if I have to enter something new and I don't know about the length, I'd line up next to something so I can try and figure out how much excess I need to add on just so it's perfect and we don't have any overhang. I know it might look like we got a bit of overhang here, but that's where I put it. No oh! Oh, I did not count right. I need one more piece to be able to get my offices in. That is fine, because now we're going to build some accountant offices. And we have four of those, so we'll just get all of them in. Just like that. And then once these guys hurry their asses up, I should be able to put the office in. And oh, wait, they gotta build these offices first. So anything that you lay down, like the offices or restaurant, you put those in and build it, they would do that first, and then they'll go to the actual walls and stuff. So that's gonna need some electricity, so I'm just gonna quickly pause it. It doesn't make any difference if they're not working, but I don't wanna anger them, you know how it is. I want your office works to be nice and happy, so they don't wanna move out. There you go, and he's got a phone line as well. And now I'm gonna build another floor. Let's so get this elevator in place, there we go. And this is a thing. So if I like stop building like that and then build like that, they're actually built all the way along like up to here where I was and then they jumped over here and they build like that just because that's the way I put it in. It's really weird that they do it. I guess it makes sense really, but I don't like it. <laughs> Let's see when you want to put the office in. Like if I miss the spot here and then build all the way here, I have like this, I'll show you what I'm talking about. So if I do like something like this, and then put this piece in here. They're gonna build all this and then come back for this last piece. We actually don't have enough power at the minute, so I just need to put another one of those units. We actually have one star. I don't know when I receive that, but now that we have a star, I can finally build a cafe. Hopefully if we can get one that serves lunch and one that serves breakfast, that was not gonna happen. Gosh darn it. I want one for lunch and one for breakfast just so people can have it. It's better if they can do both, but these are not being kind to me right now. So we'll just put out another ad and hopefully find something soon. Hey, I did it. What did I do? Oh, my income thing. That was one that's already taken out. I think I just have to get over a thousand. We're actually making money now per day on my expensive. But I know my chart says otherwise, but that's just because I'd be building loads of stuff. But now that I've done one of those things, I'm going to take out another one. I'm going to get the office one. Where is it? Um, We'll take this 3,000 thing then. So these things are cool because they give you a lot of money to start with and then they give you a bit more once you finish it. And when you, if you want to expand quickly, then you want to be taking them out in the right sort of order, so then you always have a bunch of money coming in. It does work out quite nicely. Oh, this place needs water down here, so we actually need to get a water pump thing in. Yeah, so we're going to add that in. We'll have one in there, just so then it all links up. And then I need to put in the level things. So like phone, um, TVs and electric are all through the same unit thing when you like extend upwards and then gas and water through the other ones so they're always connect together if those things are next to each other i guess i can put some more offices in while you guys build away this is what i'm talking about look see <laughs> build them backwards on themselves just because that's the way i laid it all down I got another office there and another office there and this is gonna be the insurance since I need to build other stuff for the creativity place. Alright, let's just pause this a second, just because there's gonna be workers coming in. And if I leave them without electricity for too long, then they have an unhappy phase, they ain't happy with me. They wouldn't leave, like, unless I don't give them electricity f for a certain length of time. But if you give them electricity, and then they just give you an unhappy face. But it didn't matter, everyone cool with it. But it take too long to get it all in. 
Right, the other thing is these crater's office. And at the crater's office, I have need office supplies or a water bottle service. I don't like to get in both. All right, those two need a water bottle service, so that's the one we're gonna get in. Just because obviously they cost money, and I don't like to spend money. <laughs> Like to make money, you know how it is. I'm gonna build this down here like that, and then I'm gonna build more like that. So basically, this one at the top here, I'm gonna build some star storerooms. We're gonna have my stars, and that's where like all the products go, I guess. But you need those storerooms before you build many stars, and I like to have them right underneath the stars just to make it look realistic. <laughs> I know we don't have a bottled water service in yet, but it will be in very soon. They won't be unhappy after the first day if you don't have it in, but obviously if you don't have it in for a long period of time, I imagine they will leave. But I've never got to that stage. <laughs> oh, he also wants a phone, so that's cool. We'll give him a phone just to keep him happy. Oh man, 150? You Alright, we'll take that one that makes 100 whatevs. Now we got a cat that says lunch, a cat that says breakfast, and then two little fast foody restaurants that both says lunch and the other one says breakfast. So that works out quite nicely. Okay, how much money? Ooh, making a thousand a day almost. Shame we haven't made any actual money yet. Yay, more money, now we have. Alright, so now I'm gonna take out something else. Can you add a place that says breakfast, surf, lunch, and so it says coffee? I already have, give me that money. So I guess the next one we're gonna take out is this 50 people thing. So we just need 50 workers inside the building, which isn't really that difficult. We're already at 32, so we'll be there in no time. I'm just gonna get my next floor all ready to put in. We're just gonna build offices, like I said. Obviously, we're gonna have restaurants and stuff like that down the bottom, but you need them for like some of the bigger offices to put in. So that's why. I'd oh, fuck sake. All right, it looks like we might do two floors. Build two across that way, and then I can fit another phone, a box thing inside. Marvelous. And then that sorts of. Look at it, unhappy face. You're not even at work. Why are you so unhappy with me? I put the phone in, you got a connection. I'll be there ready for tomorrow. Jeez, some people just can't keep them all happy. Alright, so I didn't really keep it not having it for long, but we now have an office supply store which should be built soon. And I can get these offices in. No, I can't because they haven't put that in. But I also got uh, these people here. So you need them to be able to do stuff like spend this influence points. I'm going to get the operation one because I want to get the, this one here, I think it is. Yeah, the maintenance team. You get a large room and then they can auto re 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 renovate oh renovation yeah yeah so you, the large maintenance team will do auto renovations and basically over time offices will decay and you basically need the maintenance team just to keep everything in tip top shape to keep people happy the offices take ages until they actually start to decay and then once they start to decay everything just starts to decay so oh we can have stores now perfect and we can have large offices awesome we'll do all that very shortly we'll put you in there oh Okay, do we have enough? What was that for? Oh, all right, we're up to 3,000 income. Nice, a day. So we got another reward thingy. So it means we can take another one out. Oh, awesome. All right, yeah, we're gonna go for the, the 12 medium offices next. No, I did not want to click on you. And I want a food and beverage store to 10. And I'm also gonna want a drug store. I know it seems crazy, but the easiest thing you can put in is a dentist, and the dentist just like needs a drugstore to be able to put in. So that that's in the medium offices, obviously. So we get all that put in, and I'm just waiting for more creative places to be able to hire. There's only two. Jesus, man! I bought a new office supply thing for y'all. Y'all just want bottled water. <laughs> We're gonna get a medium office in. This is be. Oh, we can't because I. Oh, damn it, this is what I'm talking about. I want to build it right here, optimizing my space, but I can't. Alright, I'm pretty sure the dentist needs a phone line, so we'll add that in now. Oh, they also need a drugstore and some of the file stuffs, but uh, maybe they need a janitor place as well? Janitors are supposed to like tidy up the offices, but I never see them doing anything, so... <laughs> Restaurants are the worst thing ever. They're noisy and they smell. You just can't put them anywhere. Alright, what do I need? I need, I need, I need, I need stuff. I need... A janitor and I also need some file thing right there we go file storage are you kidding me that's too big all right fuck it we'll put it in there oh that needs water why did janitors need water while they're underground oh we can get the medium restaurants awesome we'll do that in a second 
We need free med. Why do I need free medical offices? Well, if you say so, I build them all on the same floor as well. I build it here. Oh, I bet you're wondering why I left the gap. Well, I'm about to explain to you. So with restaurants, they all need a trash unit on the floor, and these things take up two, and the recycling takes up one. Genius, I know. Oh, cool money. Finally, it's about damn time. Oh, you're also gonna want some phones down here, aren't you? That's cool, I got you covered. I like run off, fire. I just don't get any sort of money, do I? Jesus, that's why we need more offices. I could take out a bank loan. Maybe I would do that so I don't have to wait a whole day. Screw it, we'll do it, just so I don't have to wait any longer. And mainly because I'm already building these offices and they don't have phone connection and I don't want them to be unhappy with me. I'm trying to build a classy establishment here. We've done quite a lot so far, so we built a lot of these little offices. We're now on the medium offices. We can now get medium stores, so that's cool. But we're gonna actually leave this episode here just so it doesn't go on for too long. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you've enjoyed and that you'll come back and join me for another exciting episode of... Project High Rise, as we build the biggest tower that anyone has ever seen. Alright, peace out. Who had this one chance to destroy it's so big. Man, Lego people don't have fingers. Follow me. How are we gonna put it on?